A 7 News consumer alert. A South Carolina drug manufacturer is at the center of a recall by the Department of Veterans Affairs. The recall is for all drugs made by Nephron Pharmaceuticals in Lexington County. 7 News consumer anchor Diane Lee explains what that means for you. Yeah, this all stems from a Food and Drug Administration investigation that found drug safety issues. The VA says that the recall affects nearly 40,000 of its patients, but doctors are advising the general public to check their own medicines to see if they might be affected. Ever since Nephron Pharmaceuticals built its facility in Lexington County in 2010, it's been making generic inhalation and suspension drugs that treat a variety of health issues from respiratory conditions to pain. In the spring of 2022, the Food and Drug Administration found major issues during an inspection and issued this warning letter to Nephron, noting, quote, serious deficiencies in your practices for producing drug products intended or expected to be sterile, which put patients at risk. Dr. David Brancati at Emergency MD explains why patients want to take possible contamination seriously. When you get bacteria or fungus into the manufacturing process, the concern is that it can propagate inside those vials, and then when you're inhaling it, it could be at a much higher concentration. So it's, it is important for to preserve the sterility of medications um, that are going into the body. This week, the VA recalled all Nephron products it uses, like the inhaler albuterol, the nasal spray ibotropium, the IV solution sodium chloride, and the steroid budesonide. In a statement, the VA explained the recall, saying, quote, there were multiple violations of good manufacturing practices found during the inspection, including bacterial contamination on some equipment and cross-contamination of drugs across products. In response, the company said, quote, Nephron takes any such correspondence from the VA or any agency seriously. Nephron will work with the VA in the same cooperative and collaborative manner it has worked with the FDA to resolve any outstanding matters or concerns the VA has. Our commitment to quality remains second to none because the lives of patients depend on the hard work of our team. Well before the VA recall, Nephron issued its own national recall of roughly 4 million doses of drugs that relieve pain, reduce bleeding, and control blood pressure. Most of those drugs were used in hospitals and clinics. And just in the last two weeks, the FDA cited two new recalls for a drug that treats muscle weakness and another that treats blood pressure. Again, only if they were produced at Nephron. If all these recalls have you concerned about the drug maker, Dr. Brincotti has this advice. Rule one would be contact the pharmacy first. Step two would be contact the physicians um, because they may need to give you a, um, another prescription for it. But you would not recommend people stop their medication? Absolutely not. The worst thing you could do is stop your medication. The FDA has designated the Lexington facility as official action needed. That is the highest level of classification. And while it cannot comment on specifics, the agency says the compliance matter is ongoing. We have a link to the drugs produced by Nephron. Just look for this story on WSBA.com. Back to you.